Um, next one, I think, is uh, Mike Mez. Oh, yes. Mike Mez. Interesting thing with Mike Mez. Um, it's my, it was, uh, I was 55 next April, so I actually remember the very, very, very first Doctor Who in black and white. He was the old guy. And it terrified the living daylights out of me. I remember the Cybermen or the Daleks. Tinfoil Cybermen. And the Phantom Piper, who people heard and carried them away to death. I was terrified. Yeah? Now, if you're an imaginative child, you're trying to deal with things in the world, and you're trying to make sense of what scares you. Mm. You're going to hold on to things. Yeah. Um, you're going to try and make interpretations. You're going to try and deal with those fears. And the things that, want, that threaten you, the monsters that threaten you, are usually part of those fears. But it's part of learning to grow up and deal with fear. Quickly, I learned to do something called lucid dreaming. Now, near where I was born, there were these ruined brewery places, brewery um, towers. And I frequently learned to um, deal with those dreams by running up the towers when the monster was chasing me and jumping out to wake myself up. So I was beginning to learn adoptive methods of coping to become conscious in dreams. Uh, and that's an ability I have every now and then. We can all learn that ability. And it helps us grow our creativity. Um, I'm, I must confess, I'm a keen animal rights activist and a vegetarian. But when I was a little lad, my grandmother had this Scottish dog called Sally. And he used to lay a biscuit tray. So a book would fall on Sally's head. Now, obviously, I was basically a good lad. Because at night, I used to dream that Sally was enormous and was chasing me. <laughs> now, that was my conscience. Part of me knew already it was the wrong thing to do. Yeah. So when I was processing that information, it was, um, I was dealing with it by Sally was suddenly bigger than me. How was I going to think about it? Because Sally was much smaller than me. Okay. So it was a reverse. It was like making me think. So a dream can give insight in that way. Yeah. I know people who've had dreams of um, horror films. I, 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 remember, I remember a particular dream called Night of the Demon from the, uh, it was made in the very, very late 50s and I probably saw it from like 67, 68 and it terrified me to death. And in my dreams at night this creature was chasing me. I saw it a few um, months ago and I could see the strings. Yeah. Now, yeah. there was an example of something I wasn't looking for. My imagination was so powerful yeah. that I didn't see the strings. <laughs> Yet here, today, when I saw that film, I thought, oh, that was interesting. You laugh at it. I you laugh at it. Yeah. The number of people who are, their nightmares are going to be uh, influenced by Dracula films, Frankenstein films, Nosferatu films. Um, I can remember my son being terrified by seeing a Scooby-Doo series when he was a little boy, where there was, um, I think it was, it was a particular monster chasing, what was it called, I can't remember what he, what he did tell me about it, and um, it appeared in his dreams. And then when he saw um, uh, Jurassic Park, the raptors, when we used to live in another house in Swansea, uh, he dreamt the raptors had come to the house and him and his mum were in one room and I was not there. So I said, well, where were the animal going? He said, I'm afraid you were inside the raptors, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> so the raptors had already eaten me. Yeah. Um, now, he was working out, being a very small boy at the time, that his mum was obviously 
something far more with him all the time than I was because I was working. So there's a level of uh, so it's absence. Like absence. So it's like, how can I explain? Who could I most afford to lose? My father. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this is, this is brutal as that. And it wasn't, it's, it's how we are. It's not, as, it's not necessarily as brutal as that, but it's how we think. And our nightmares tell us a lot. I, I sometimes dream I'm sitting my degree again. And I haven't revised. And that's a real nightmare scenario. Yeah? I'm caught out. Yeah? Remember just before I got I was doing my degree, um, I looked at the board, I was there twice. I had a fail and a first. So I was there in, so I, I there was there was an anxiety bit there. So nightmares tell us about our anxieties and our fears. So we can learn a lot. Learn from, learn from yeah. that in that way. Um, a lot of people frequently dream of going to hell. Now I don't believe in hell. I, I see enough people every day in therapy who are in hell. <laughs> if there is a hell, it's here in this world. Um, but if people have been brought up, you'll be punished for that. Yeah. yeah. Um, you're going to have that recurring thought. And sometimes a dream from years and years and years ago can we, when we're having a dream we can say, I've been here before frequently I dream I, I used to, a, a long time ago in this big house in, uh, Ian used to go and fix my computers for me there and it's a, it was a vast house and frequently in dreams I dream my back there and there was a whole area of the house that I didn't know about I remember I dreamt I walked up this long staircase, uh, and I came to a seat, and I sat there, and I thought, I have sat here many times before. But of course, a house in a dream is part of yourself that you're exploring for the first time. Okay. Yeah. Um, a few weeks ago, I dreamt that I was in a museum. It was covered with beautiful books. And there were cases full of antiques. And I thought, this is so wonderful. Where can I keep it? And I woke up with the understanding that that's who I am on the inside. I have got it there already. So a nightmare might occur if there's something we're not accepting about ourselves. If there's something we're ignoring. Our unconscious is saying, for God's sake, Ian, notice me. I'm going to scare the, the living daylights out of you to get you to notice what I'm trying to say to you. Yeah. It might be our conscience is working in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the background all the time trying to give us ideas. So a nightmare is, and for children, it's dealing with fear, it's dealing with all sorts of things like that. It's, uh, but it's also, it also might be something we are ignoring about ourselves. So then, the, let me get it straight then. Um, the subconscious then, yeah. when your dream kicks yes. in, yeah? yes. that's giving you the nightmare type, yeah? Right. yeah? And then, then, if you, well, learn from it or... Yes, it will uh, stop. Right, okay. Yeah. 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 So it's a good little uh, process and a lot of people do learn from it. If you want to talk about it, talk about it. Yeah. Again, any questions? We still like for the next uh, 23 minutes. Uh, I dare say people are probably very nervous in case we discover that they're sexually depraved or <laughs> serial killers. No way, we won't. Please, we won't. We won't. It's just live on. Uh, it's just live on Facebook and on the website. But if there are um, situations, you know, please don't be afraid of your dreams. Yeah. Yeah. There is uh, people out there will sit, will, will sit down and talk to you. Hmm. We can go in private. You know. Again, Martin. Yeah. Fantastic psychologist. Hmm. And as with people like that. It's there, sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, yeah, we can talk in private about any dreams you want, but, you know, respect them. Mm. That's okay. the important thing. That's the important thing. Um, always look at them with respect, value them, and find different methods that write them down. Okay. Yeah. Like you said, yeah. hour and a half, alarm night. Yes. Did you watch colour? Remember digital voice recorder, most phones there these days, they're built to the actual apps. You just will record it. Yeah. Little voice notes, play it back in the morning. Yes. I think that's what it looks like. I can never remember any of Never? Never. Yeah. I can never remember. For me to remember a dream, oh, like, yeah, I don't really dream that much. I mean, 
Some people, for example, dream in colour, or say they dream in colour, and others say they dream in black and white. And the reason we dream in black and white is probably because our memory of colour fades. Okay. Yeah. So that's the thing. Uh, that's. Uh, I think we probably all do dream in colour, but we forget the colours. Um, some people have different senses in dreams. They have smell, taste, touch. touch. Yeah. Okay. Now, I, I, I had a, I, a few months ago, um, I had some horrible things called nasal polyps removed from my nose. So my sense of smell had gone for a good four or five years. Well, it's back, it's wonderful now. 